CBD, which stands for cannabidiol, is the non-psychoactive compound in the hemp plant responsible for dozens of extraordinary medical health benefits that have been discovered in the past 20 years. And you can see a list of those on sites such as this Echo Connection site shown here. On the other hand, THC, which is short for tetrahydrocannabinol, is the psychoactive compound in marijuana that causes the high and stoned effect that we all associate with pot. These are two completely separate compounds, but both of these are from a class of chemical compounds that interact with special receptors that are built into our body since birth, called the cannabinoid receptor system. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, who most people know as CNN's chief medical correspondent, is an American neurosurgeon who, in 2013, changed his stance on the prohibition of cannabis while investigating its powerful therapeutic properties and witnessing CBD successfully treating people. Gupta shocked mainstream America, saying, quote, we have been terribly and systematically misled for nearly 70 years in the United States and I apologize for my role in that. Dr. Gupta isn't alone in supporting cannabis research. The director of the National Institute on Drug Abuse, Dr. Nora Volkol, testified before the Senate saying that CBD is a safe compound with no addictive effects, and the research suggests that it has an extraordinarily therapeutic value for a number of medical conditions. It's now been shown that CBD can influence many conditions and bodily functions, including inflammation, pain, autoimmune disease, energy regulation, metabolism, reproductive function, cognition, appetite, skin problems, depression, anxiety, and even cancer. But how can one compound affect so many bodily processes? The answer lies in our built-in biochemistry. We have a naturally occurring cannabinoid receptor system built into our bodies and there are millions of receptors in our brain, along our spine, and in massive numbers in the uterus, all designed by nature since birth to interact with CBD. And we have those receptors because our body is constantly making its own cannabinoids. As of June 2018, the U.S. federal government now allows all 50 states to be shipped CBD-based hemp products. To learn more, do a Google search on the cannabinoid receptor system found in the human body. Then, give CBD oil a try. Look for the highest absorption formulas found in liposomal technology.